Right, so here we are now. I'm not doing anything more on P4 unless people want me to show them specific things. I think I've shown enough of Dreamweaver and how stuff works for you to be able to figure out what you need to add. And if you can't, remember, you always have this. Oh, let me open the website. Uh, W3Schools. You can always go to this website and let me do the HTML tutorial. They have tutorials on every single thing you might need to do in HTML. I What I showed was not even scratching the surface, but it should get you guys started on how you need to go ahead to create your website. Now, again, my website was horrible looking, but that's fine because now I'm going to review the well. This one is going to be me testing the website. So here's my actual thumbnail I'm creating on Canva. And what we're going to be doing in this one is actually testing the website. So we are now on P5 where it says test the website for functionality, compatibility, and usability. Functionality. So it does what you want it to do. It works as it should. Everything that you said would work actually works. It is a functional website, right? When something is functional, it works. When something is dysfunctional, it does not work. Again, these IT words, nothing um, special. We just use English words and they mean exactly the same thing in most cases. So compatible. It works on different devices. Now for my website, it won't work on different devices now because all I have are the HTML files. I could transfer them to my phone and test it. And for you guys, I recommend you do that. What I'm going to do for testing for compatibility is to test in multiple browsers. I already have a basic template down here, which I'm going to explain in a while. But I have Google Chrome installed on my laptop and I also have Microsoft Edge installed. So I will be testing on Google Chrome and on Microsoft Edge. That's it for me. But for you guys, again, I suggest if you have the entire website in a folder or maybe you use Wix or WordPress or Weebly or one of those online services I mentioned before in previous videos, test it on your mobile phone. And not only that, test it on your mobile phone using Chrome, using, if you have Android, use Chrome, use um, Safari for iOS, use Firefox, use whatever browser you have at your disposal to test it. Now, I would say two mobile browsers and two desktop browsers would be perfectly okay for, to, um, for moving towards um, a merit and a distinction, in my opinion. Uh, when something is usable, how do people find it? Is it easy to use for other people? Now, usability is quite a tricky one because some people find different things more usable. For example, I think the iPhone or iOS in general is not very usable for me, but I love Android. I love Windows. They're, they're very usable for me because that's what I've grown up with. I know how to use those systems very well. But typically speaking, when you're looking at websites for usability, do people have to learn a completely new way of navigating your website versus other general websites that do typically the same thing, right? I have rollover buttons that are, I mean, they're not very obvious rollover buttons, but they do work. So people don't have, again, people don't have to learn how to use my website. It is, it can be implied that, oh, okay, that's, that's a button. I should probably click on that. That's a rollover. Okay, I should click on that. That banner, typically banners actually take you back to the homepage. That's something I actually didn't do for my website. Something I can add, something I can say I've gone back and fixed. So that's what we're going to do. Um, do testing. So, so quickly again, P5 is to test the website for functionality, compatibility, and usability. I'm not going to test for all of these things. I'm going to show you how to lay out your document for testing. I've got, what, five or six tests here. I might do all of them. I might not. So let me just go to the first one quickly and see if that one makes sense. So it says, I, I like numbering stuff, test 01. I like putting zero before my numbers. I don't know why. So I'm going to say test 01, basic Google Chrome load test. That's the name of my test. So that's my test number. That's the name of my test. And what am I actually checking for? Uh, this was to check or this is to check if all the elements implemented on the website loaded into uh, in the Google Chrome web browser. So just if they load, just if they present themselves, they don't have to work, but just if they present themselves. So I'm going to go to my desktop. I think it's my desktop that I have it on. Yeah, unit six. I'm going to go to where it says GTA website. Now remember, my website is not completed. I think I only did two pages, but it showed most of the techniques that you guys need to actually um, make your website. So I'm going to go to the index page. And again, my default browser is Google Chrome. So I didn't need to do anything else. Does everything load? Yeah, everything seems to load fine. The rollover buttons work. Everything loads okay. Um, yeah, I can go back and say, yes, everything loaded perfectly fine. No issues. What I might even do, I might go to, I think it was the About Us page I did. Yeah, yeah, I did do a few pages actually. But I'm going to stick to homepage for now. I'm going to do a screenshot of this, showing that all the elements loaded. 
right? You can choose whatever page you want. The most complex page to load for me is probably um, the content page, content page, because I have the podcast, which is audio. I've got the videos down here and I've got the, um, what's this thing called again? Uh, image carousel thing here. So this is probably the most tricky page to load for me. So you know what? I'll do a screenshot of this one. So let me zoom out so I can capture most of it. I'm going to do my screenshot thing. And to do the screenshot thing here, what I have to do is do, um, what is this? Windows flag on my keyboard. So the same thing that brings up the start menu. Windows flag, shift, and S for Sierra. And it comes up with a screenshot thing in Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm going to go back to my document. What I'm going to do is just simply paste it here. All right? I'm going to make it very small because I don't need it very big. So I'm going to shrink this down just so you guys can see more stuff on my screen. But have a screenshot. Have your screenshot big if you want. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to say um, everything works fine. All elements, elements of the website load. Um, what I would say is go back and check all the pages. This is a simple load test. If something does not work, if something you imp implemented does not work in Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using, say it here. That's perfectly fine. Say it right here. Where, where I have comments, say it. And maybe that's going to be you making a note of something that needs to be fixed. So let's just imagine that, um, let's just say this podcast tool here did not load for me. I would simply say that. I was going to say podcast two. Okay, podcast two is a bit off. It's wonky. It doesn't load properly. When I play the audio, it doesn't play properly. It really loads very slow because I'm using a WAV file. Whatever comment you want to leave, state it here. I'm going to say everything works fine. All elements of the website load. I'm going to leave it at that because I have more tests later on for actually testing if if um, if the audio works, testing if the video works, testing if the image carousel works. I have different different tests for everything. Now you can have as many tests as you want, but because this is just a pass criteria, yeah, it's P5. I'd say stick to under 20 ish because again, it's it's P5. You you want to put the the um, the blunt of the work or the the uh, more detail into, for example, M2 and D2 and D3 and stuff like that. But you do have to make sure that this section is detailed enough. All right, all right. So let me move on to the next one. Okay, I might, it's going to be the exact same test, but done in Microsoft Edge instead. So I'm going to go back to my folder here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go open with, I'm going to choose Microsoft Edge just to see if everything loads. Yeah, that loads fine. The home page loads fine. The about us page seems to load fine. The content page seems to load fine. Yep, so I can do another screenshot here again of the same thing. So let me zoom out again. Uh, maybe I should do a different page for the screenshot, actually, just so I don't have the same screenshot for everything. Zoom out. Let me just do a screenshot here. Let me just grab this. I'm not going to grab everything. Well, you can grab everything if that makes sense for you. I'm going to minimize this. Go back to my document. Test 02. So this is my second test. Now, if you wanted to, you could say what you expected from the results. Like, oh, I expected everything to work in Google Chrome, for example, because that's a very, that's a browser that Google works on day in, day out, very compatible. I don't expect everything to work on um, Microsoft, uh, what's it called? Explore, um, Internet Explorer, because that one is very, very old. It's like 30 years old at this point. Even though they have given it updates over the years, it's still not going to be great because it's a 30-year-old piece of software, right? It's going to be very old. So... Um, that's my test 02, uh, basic Microsoft Edge load test, right? I don't have Firefox installed, right? So I'm going to skip this test 03 here. But if you have it installed, if you want to do more tests, do more tests. Um, ideally, what's it called again? Explorer. Ideally, I should also check in Internet Explorer or just some other random browser because Edge and... Um, um, Google Chrome are very popular browsers. You want to check something that's not so popular that some people will have as well. And for the comment, I'm just going to copy this one because I'm lazy. Because it's, everything worked fine again. I'm going to skip test number three. Or test number four, Google Chrome uh, Play Audio. Okay, so I'm going to go to the page that has the audio. For me, that's the content page. Right? Let me zoom in. Does the audio load? It loads okay. It's a bit wonky. So maybe actually on the Google Chrome test, where I test the content page. Let me go back to here. Um, I think it was the first one. Fix, I, I could say fix, or let me just put it on a different line actually. Fix audio um, 
item alignment. I don't know anything that describes ALIG and MENT and anything that describes what you need to fix. Just put it here. That's, that's fine. It doesn't really matter how you say it. Just say, fix this thing. It's not aligned properly. I didn't realize that while, while I was developing. Even, even though I did, I, will, I left some stuff um, broken so I can come in here and have comments, right? Fix audio alignment um, issue. Perfectly fine. What was I going to test again? I was going to test the audio. Okay. So I am on the content page. Um, I need to test the audio. So I'm just going to play any one of them because I know they're both WAV files. Let me just click on this one. Testing, testing, microphone working. Yep. Well, hello guys. Welcome back. This is going to be a podcast. Yeah, I can play. Just on Rockstar is going to I can skip. I can pause. Always. I can mute. Yep. I think I can download as well. No, play playback speed. Okay. Yeah. So this works more or less as it should. I don't like the black um, border around it though. So I'm going to say um, audio plays perfectly fine. But let me screenshot it first, actually. Podcast one and two. Audio works perfectly fine. Screenshot that, paste it there. Audio works well. Um, maybe fix issue with black border as it does not look appealing. Again, I'm not really supposed to be looking for this kind of stuff here, but since I can leave a comment there, I might as well. And there we go. That's how I would do my test. I'm gonna, I would break it down into individual items on my website. And because I've got the image carousel here, I'll probably do a test on image carousel as well. Does it does the image actually skip? Does it actually display the text there? Does it actually um, cycle through, get to the last one and go back to the beginning? If it doesn't, so just do one big test for image carousel. And if all those things work in that browser, perfect. Say, oh, everything works. All, all the elements work. If they do, if something does not work, you simply say it. Um, what else can we test? We can test the links for each of these uh, icons. So when I click on the phone one, does it come up with the phone thing? When I click on the email one, does it come up with the email thing? When I click on the Facebook one, does it actually take me to, well, I put IGN as my website here because Facebook wouldn't work for some reason. But when I click on the external links, do they actually work? So make up your test based on individual things on your website. I would say a good number of tests for this would be between 10 and 20. Uh, the next test I have is test 05 Google Chrome play URL video. I might as well show this one. On the content page, again, I have two types of videos. I have a video that's linked via a URL to YouTube, and I have a video which I recorded on my PlayStation 5 directly. So uh, one test would be to play this one. I'm not going to click play now. I know it works, but I'm not going to click play now because it might give me a copyright strike. I'm going to leave it as it is. I can play this one. So I'm when if this one works on my web browser I'm testing on now, I'd say, yeah, it works perfectly fine. No issues. Wonderful, wonderful. Then I would move over to um, this one, which I made on my PlayStation 5 myself, I would do the same test again in the same browser and all the different browsers. So each browser you need, you need to test, well, I need to test the URL one, which is a YouTube one, and I need to test the local upload one, which is the one I made on my PlayStation 5. And I would just simply make a comment. I know it's going to work. I tested it before. Then I would make a comment. If it does not work, if, if, if one feature of anything you're testing does not work, say it. If everything works perfectly fine, say it. That's perfectly okay. Um, that means that everything you wanted to implement more or less has worked.